I'm Alex. Today we are the Junior Journos for Kent Cricket. Today we're very excited to host Knots Outdoors at the Spitfire Ground. Earlier we interviewed Daniel Bell Drummond and Alex Blake. We also interviewed Jack Leaning. Today we are the Junior Journos at Kent Cricket. And we're here with Alex Blake and Daniel Bell Drummond. What made you want to start doing Uh, I played when I was very little. Um, I played because my dad played um, down at Bromley Town in, in Kent, London Way. Uh, so that's really what made me want to play. Um, and I continued to play all through my junior years. Uh, unfortunately, I was lucky enough to make it with Kent. Are there any players that you that inspired you when you were growing up? That's a good question. There are a few players. Uh, Brian Lara was my favourite player. And then I also used to love watching Kevin Peterson back well before your time. But um, those were the two guys that inspired me to play. Why do you enjoy cricket? Why do I enjoy cricket? Um, I think it's just a, a very different sport to most sports. Um, there's a lot of different situations you can find yourself in. Um, I know sort of Sports like football, not that the same thing happens every game, but there's a very, very similar traits to it. Whereas cricket, anything can happen. Um, you can get really tense finishes. Um, you've got different formats: four-day cricket, five-day cricket, 2020, 50 over. Um, so for me, it's just um, there's a lot of different factors involved in cricket, which keeps it very interesting for me. Daniel, what's your favourite shot to play, and why? I'd say the cut shot is my favourite shot. Um, I'm not quite good at it. I don't like a few other shots, so I'm hoping the bowler gives me some width and I can cut it away. And we're here with Jack Leaning, our captain for today against Knox. Jack, whenever, whenever you finish doing cricket, is it because you always lean? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, impression of what I do, to be honest. Uh, I think you must be watching quite closely. <laughs> As an off spinner and uh, primarily a batsman myself, have you got any tips for a future off spinner? Um, yeah, I think always try and look to spin the ball, be nice and aggressive, um, and always try and think about how the batter's going to score against you um, and how you can try and stop them from doing that and, and ultimately try and get them out. Right, thank you for your answer. I think that'll be all for today. We're outside of Kent Cricket's Cub Shop. Come on, cameraman, follow us. Hello. Hello. What's your position in Ken Cricket's Cub Shop? Good morning, Julia Journos. My name's Barry, and I'm the retail manager here. How long have you been working here for? A long, long time, longer than you was born. This is coming up to my 19th year at the club. Right. Who's the easiest to work with in terms of like least fussy with their kit? Well, they're all very good normally. Um, I would say the best one regarding kit, and it's because he's an Arsenal fan as well, is probably Daniel Bell Drummond. Shall I tell you who the the, the one who loses kit the most is? Yes. Um, his name's Ben Compton, and he pops in every time and he goes, I've lost my polo shirt, I've lost my trousers, I've lost my top, but they're all good lads really. Sounds like my brother to me. <laughs> Thank you for answering our questions today. No problem. Jack, Jack we won the toss or not? Uh, we have, we won the toss and we're going to have a bat. So uh, hopefully we can stick a nice big score on the board and, and restrict them later when we come to bowl. And a bit more.
Rod Stewart had a key innings at, towards the end of the match that gave us 2-5-9, a competitive score. Nanny, are you enjoying the day? Oh, I am. tight game. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get over the line, but um, yeah, the, the kind of games you want to be involved in, unfortunately, we came out on the wrong side of it, but no, it was a really exciting game. A few things we could have done better. Um, I think we were about 15, 20 runs short, and then in the field, I think a few little errors, but we bowled really well, and uh, we were glad that we could take the game as close as we did. Hi, Hammy. Even though you got a forfer, we still lost. What are your thoughts? Uh, overall, I think it was a very good effort um, to get 260 on that wicket and pull the centre short. Um, have to give a credit to him. The team, the field, they, they fielded well. Um, they could have given us a decent chance, uh, but yeah, I mean, they did well on first few months. It's never, never good to lose as a team, I guess. Um, but we move forward. Um, just learn from the time and we'll see for the next game on Sunday. Hello, Kent fans. The game didn't go too well for Kent Spitfires, but we lost one. However, there are still tickets available for Sunday. Thank you for listening. See, see you, you next time. time.